Yates. Yes. Will Yates. You wanted to see me? You're not a subscriber of my channel. Well, not when you post Bill's first scene in the TARDIS. I don't want to see that shit, man. That's spoilers. Don't use spoilers. I don't care for colloquialisms. You've used that word yourself many a time. I'm old and bitter. Now what are you here for? Well, you called me in, but I have something I don't understand. Why does engine oil have the instant capability to travel through time and space? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna review a new episode, and it's about you, Doctor. Doctor who? I'm sorry that made no sense for me to ask, but go on. So it's been many, many moons since we last saw the Doctor and Nardol, and after all this time, did the pilot live up to expectations? Yes, certainly. We got a beautiful and comfortable incarnation of Peter Capaldi's Doctor. Pearl Mackie burst onto our screens as, as Bill, and I don't want her to ever leave. The villain was terrifying, but had motives, and tugged at many a heartstring, and not all! He was there, and I... I didn't mind. The intro in the office was jarring and very different. Minimal music, beautifully crafted dialogue, spectacular lighting, and cinematography. It, along with the entire episode, brought about a fresh feeling to Doctor Who, something we haven't really felt since the 11th hour, and I mean everything in this episode was purposeful. The Sonics on the desk? Fan service? No, the Doctor needed multiple Sonics in this episode, but also a sneaky way of merchandising the Sonics again. The images on the desk, fan service, no, 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 they convince him to take Bill and end his crotchety old madness. Speaking of which, who are they? Ah, the two C's, Crystal and Crispy. Right. Important to talk about Bill for this episode, of course, and I was terrified of her. The, the snarkiness, the, the one-liners, and the sameness in all of the trailers, it scared me. But no, here's the word again, it was fresh, original, and I love her from the minute she was on the screen. She has a backstory with a difficult upbringing and a tumultuous current life with her adopted mother who doesn't seem to accept her. It's a sense of real life that we haven't really felt since uh, Donna. I mean, the Pons had family, but they were pretty perfect. Nothing wrong with it, because that era is about fairy tale perfectness, but it's good to have a bit of real life. And also, Bill seems to be normal, human, not important to the entire galaxy kind of person. The Doctor is just like, you're cool, and he picks her up. Not because she's going to save the galaxy, but because she is an independent, awesome human being. Yes, we'll be going on a search for her gal pal, but she's not the universe's most important human being. She's real fun, and Pearl seems to be able to grasp for those emotions that Moffat likes to throw at people. Now, speaking of her gal pal, what a villain. Man, things in horror films, like the mundane elements, that's what scares me. And water now scares me. A little. And thankfully, the water allowed for a lot of practical effects, which also makes it pretty darn freaky. I love, love, love the fact that she wasn't just a villain that could be sold by a sonic press. The fact that Heather was so constant and ever-present was because of her emotional ties with Bill was a brilliant choice. It made use of Bill and her surroundings, and so it kind of helped ground it in a sci-fi kind of grounding way, albeit didn't really help the whole engine oil being able to travel through time and space thing. I mean, I know she's pretty connected to Bill, but I don't think oil, through love, can then travel through time and space. INCLUDING AUSTRALIA! Also, not going to get too involved in it, but she was clearly very reminiscent of the Flood. And those raspy tones beneath the oil certainly sounded like old maid ice warriors. So could episode one be laying down some mysteries for further on in the series? Speaking of mysteries, I think we may have met our arc with the vault. I love the air of mystery around it. It feels so hammy, so obvious, so important. Old Moffat has something cooked up and I know it's gonna be good. Please be good. I actually, I don't know it's gonna be, I hope it's good. Who's Moffat? You'd probably lock him up in your vault. Yes, the vault. It was mysterious and creepy. It felt very reminiscent of the Pandora Europa's catacombs. However, I hope there isn't just an empty chair for the Doctor within it. 
It provided a great off-screen moment for Nardol and the Doctor with them fumbling with the door. Further cementing them as a new duo. However strange and weird the pairing may be, kind of works a little bit. Now what's in the vault obviously is the mystery for the series and I think there is a video within it. Not in it, in it, but there's a video about it, in it, but not Leave your comments down below with what you think is inside the vault. Me personally, I think it's uh And let's talk about this episode's pacing because mm, it's an interesting one. Most of it's fine, but some scenes feel a bit jarring and a bit out of sorts. Uh, like there were elements removed from them for timing. Not necessarily a bad thing, but the cuts threw me off at times. But too many bots. Also, I love the way the episode's pacing sort of built from that quiet office scene. Like, we go, Fault, Sydney, some planet, and destiny of the Dalek in a matter of minutes, and it feels pure Doctor Who. It's always said that the show could be anywhere week to week, but how about the show goes anywhere minute to minute? It was awesome. Now, let's take one of those minutes to talk about two really good scenes. That's four. Two really good scenes. The lecture and the entrance. Capaldi's TARDIS lecture was brilliant on so many levels. Peter is of course eccentric, wise and bombastic in a way that only he could be. The cinematography is wild, unique and fast and I particularly loved the snapshots in time portion. And of course the TARDIS entrance. Now we could go on about the really cool interesting way they did it with Bill and how she's examining the TARDIS and saying it's a kitchen. All that was great but as a film nerd, man it was good to look at. The claustrophobic shooting of the doors that pulled out to darkness, the 80s hum that lifted into a soaring take on the sad man with a box. Oh my word, what a scene. To think this is Capaldi's first and last bigger on the inside moment, it was perfect and I really couldn't ask for more. And staying with music, no. Gold is very subtle in this episode, not the you know, product, Murray Gold. And I mean, he's bombastic with the, the Dalek and Movellan war scenes and when they're rehashing a good man. Um, but subtlety is certainly key for this episode. There's some real emotional pieces in this ep and I am so, so keen to see a soundtrack for this series just based off this episode alone. Once we get the series nine one, of course. You mean like this? So yes, I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, I, I mean, I have one single gripe, and you, can, you probably could pick up on it. It's the alien engine oil transporting thing. It's insanely overpowered, but never really explained. I mean, it doesn't really kill the episode, and it may pop up in Gatiss' Ice Warrior story. So yes, overall, a brilliant series opener. Right, you've convinced me. What? I have. So you're gonna. We definitely should have said spoilers.